Good day everyone. I'm Regaline Simontalaba, the first reporter for today. My report is all about the categorical imperatives. And when we say imperatives, it is something that you must do. And this imperative, it has two types. The hypothetical imperative, which is already discussed from the furious reporter and the categorical imperative. So, categorical imperative promulgates the absolute moral obligation. It is a principle that autonomous moral subjects are commanded to obey. Otherwise, one will violate his own nature. In making a choice, one simply follows what reason promulgates and dictates. So, categorical imperatives are the commands that you must follow. It is something you must always do, no matter what the situation is, no matter what you want to achieve, or what your desires are. So, categorical imperative are universal laws and ones we, as a rational beings, must always follow. And the question is, how we can determine what our categorical imperative are? So, here's Immanuel Kant who proposed the two important ways of formulating categorical imperative. The first one is, act as if the maxim from which you act were to become true, your will, a universal law of nature. So, the meaning of maxim, is it a rule or a principle of action that you must do? Well, the universal law, it is also called a universality, which means that a moral act is unconditional in nature. When we put in the same condition, any individual would act in the same manner as another following the dictates of one's duty. In other words, it is something that must always be done in a similar situation, like what one has done must always be done by the majority. So, by this formulation, Kant means you should only act whereby you would want everyone else in the world to act in the same way. And by that basis, you should refrain from doing things that you would not want everyone else to do. So, Kant would argue that an act is permissible if you are willing for that action to be universalized. If you are not, then this cannot be moral laws. And if your action would cause contradiction in your will when universalized, then... These are actions that you should not do. For example, lying. If you're in the situation where you're about to lie, ask yourself, what would happen if everyone lied all the time? If the maximum of lying is permissible for everyone in the world, then truth will become meaningless, right? So no one could be trusted. It will result in chaos. And I guess no rational person would want this type of world. So we conclude that you should never lie. It now becomes our duties and we should always obey this no matter what. So the second formulation is act so as to use humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of another, always as an end, never merely as a means. So for the second formulation, it tells us that we ought never treat person merely as a means. Because if a person treats someone merely as a means, then he or she acts wrongly. For example, imagine that in this picture, the owner forcing many slave people to build a giant building. So, the building is what we call the end. And those people who work are being used as a means. They are being forced against their will just to build a building so this would violate moral laws and it should not be permissible we should never be used by someone else just to fulfill another end rather they should be considered and themselves they should be treated as people secondly the idea that the human being is an end in itself emanates from the idea that each person has dignity being the ultimate source of moral values. In other words, we should not use people as object, but instead recognize the dignity and value that we all have. Kant tell us that a moral act, which treat all men and women as ends in themselves, means that person must be respected as ultimate bearer of moral worth. To use a person as a mere means to end 
means to violate the moral worth of a person. So there you have the categorical imperatives for moral laws and ethics. Only act in a way that you will be universal and never treat human beings as a means to an end. So for human beings to be acting true goodwill means they are following their duty of the categorical imperative. And all beings should follow this duty at all times and no matter what. If we all do that, we will eventually create a state or a country with a peace and harmony. And that's all. Thank you.